Now the bridge of it ain't the meat by the swallows, we're going to employ what's called rhythm changes, which is also known as a three, six, two, five, one chord change. So we're going to go from to three, which is a D. If we're in B flat, we're going to go to the D and you'll, you'll hear the song do this from the last time around. a stop right there. So what I'm doing chord-wise, I'm going to the D9, which is what I think is being played, and it's hard to hear if he just lets it hang, or if he's doing any picking in there. I think he's just letting it ring out. That is our six. I'm sorry, that is our three. So if we go to our B flat, the third note is a D. So our D is our three. And then we're going to go from the D9 to a G9, which is our 6. Right there. G. So that's our 6th note. So we're playing a chord. And then I hear him, I think I hear him do this. Just a quick strum. And then he's going to walk in. Something like that, very close to that. He's walking into a C ninth, which is going to be our two. So here's our one B flat. That's our two chord, which is a C. We're going to play a C nine. Second note is a C on the sixth string, C nine. And then we're going to play our five, which is going to be a E flat. I'm sorry, an F ninth. One, two, three. plays an F9 or maybe an F7 but it's a stop. He sings and then it comes back in and so forth. So let's do that rhythm changes one more time. We're going to go to the, 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 the three, six, two, five, and then back to the one. B flat. So there's a few of these early rhythm and blues songs. There's um, there's one I did before by the Drifters. Uh, oh, what's that one called? I just I just did it. Fools Fall in Love, which has a really cool chord changes, lots of cool chord changes in it. There's one called Music Maestro Please by the Dominoes, which is really kind of cool. We'll take a look at that one eventually. Most other rhythm and blues songs are just one, four, five, maybe a six thrown in, or maybe a two. Uh, nothing this complicated, though, in both the verses and the chorus. So arguably, It Ain't the Meat by the Swallows is the most complicated rhythm guitar played on any rhythm and blues song from the 1950s. Maybe I'm missing something, but in my humble opinion, in my experience, this one is pretty complicated. That's my opinion of what's going on. I didn't show you exactly how things are played. I'm more interested in showing you what you can do with chords. You can move that, the verse, what you play over the verse. You can move the rhythm changes to almost any key. Play around with it. See if you can identify other songs that use rhythm changes. I gave you a couple there. Fools Fall in Love by the Drifters and also the Music Maestro Please by the Dominoes. Those two are, are good examples and there's others. So anyway, that is my rhythm guitar chord lesson for April through June 2020. Hope you enjoy this channel. I don't have a whole lot of subscribers yet, but I'm going to keep plugging away, keep throwing lessons up. And if you haven't had the chance, check out the website that I created to go along with this. Lots of cool videos and music and, and information about me and why I'm doing this, if that interests you at all. Otherwise, I'll be back again in about three or four months, and we'll take a look at another chord or rhythm idea from a great rhythm and blues song. See you then.